Alright, hello everyone. Welcome back to a new episode of Haven. I just went ahead and got us back to the nest over here. So everything's repaired, everything's ready to go. There is still this spot on the map. Bottom of the flow bridge, that's it. Just need to find the hyper rust. We'll never get rid of this rust. Like, that makes me think there's still something to do there. Like, there's that big enemy. I th maybe if we kill them, we'll get another piece of hyper rust. So, I... <sighs> Oh, it might be for Mama you, don't you? He prefers Papa K's. Tell her, Rank. Tell her you prefer Papa K's. Good thing no one is seeing us right now. Uh, so I it might it, like going over there and killing that enemy might do nothing. But for the sake of my curiosity, I kind of want to do it. So uh, we're gonna make ourselves some stuff here. Um, some bombs, and we're definitely, definitely gonna need some tonics to take down that stupid big asshole. If he's the same one as the one we fought on that other place that also gave us hyper rust, then, um, he's gonna be a joik to defeat. So, we just want to make more of this stuff. Okay, so we can't use that anymore, so let's just use these. Make some more bombs and cures. Or bombs, it's the same thing. Uh, so now we got three of those. Let's make some tonics. Because those are always useful. Probably the best item in the game, in fact, because it just allows you to attack and do everything so much damn faster. But yeah, it's, it's weird to be at the end of this game because I don't know. Like, Haven's Haven's has just been so good the entire way through, like I mentioned, with some minor flaws that it, it just kind of went by really quickly. It's just such an adorable little game where you d definitely, definitely really get to know these characters and kind of understand their plight and feel for them, as it were. All right. Oh yeah, another thing I forgot to mention, uh, when I was on my way back, uh, I actually stopped at the Heliga and it heals you to full health. Which is kind of ridiculous, if you ask me. Like, it heals you to full health. Don't you think it should be growing? It's growing. We just need to be patient. Yeah, like, it heals you to full health. How insane is that? Just full-ass health. Alright, so do we have any food? We do not. So I need to get some food for Burble. We'll make some stuff. I should also probably get you guys to eat as well, if you're willing to. Um, uh, sure, eat now. You can have roasted apple juice. We don't need XP anymore anyway. Uh, you? Are your bunch of cables going to remain in the entryway for a while? Why? Well, it isn't much use here, and I almost tripped on it again. Where would you rather put them? Where would you rather put them? In case you hadn't noticed, we're kind of short on space. I was considering tossing them. What? Like where? Outside? All dumpster-like? So a critter will strangle itself? So it will choke, trying to eat cables? We could just take them back to where... I'm disappointed. Whatever happened to the no-waste K of yore? This isn't our trash. Do you really think Source knows the difference? It is incumbent upon us to protect her from this kind of pollution. You know, you could have said... Okay, I don't want to toss them. It might not save space, but it would have saved us time. <laughs> that was a pretty funny little conversation. Uh, alright, so, yeah, we still gotta make food. Because that was just the cutscene I got for eating. So, roasted apple dews, bam. Did it. Uh, put in fridge, or cook more. Uh, and you know what, Burble? You, you've done a lot for us, so we'll give you a flambe this time, eh? We'll spice up your palate a little bit. There we go. Uh, no, put in fridge. Alright, there we go. Now we are done, now we can leave, now we can go find out if we can beat the shit out of this final, like, super boss, basically, and then we can possibly go finish the game. Today. I do have a time to make this an extra long episode we'll if need be. Round, but we have to leave after, okay? Uh-huh. Boom. Okay, so roasted apple juice. Burble. There you are. 
And uh, we will give uh, your other food to you uh, when we find a verbal station to get back. All right, so let's go ahead and teleport here. Then we're gonna go back to the other island. It says there's no way we're gonna get rid of all this rust, but it says also says on the notes, if we find the hyper rust, we can get rid of it. The thing that made me believe I couldn't get actually get rid of all the rust on that island was it saying, like it's it said I already cleaned yeah, all the rust always. off every island. Like I've gotten the trophy for it. It's like clean up every islet. But maybe this one's may, maybe I, maybe the achievement weirded out and I got it when I wasn't supposed to. Or maybe this is how you get a different achievement for defeating all of these like hard super boss enemies. I don't know. Point is, I want to do it just to see what happens. So, yeah. We will go over here. We will fight this enemy. And uh, it'll, be a, it'll be a fun time, I guess. I might even cut it, since we've seen fighting this enemy before. Um, it might be best just to cut the fight out. Maybe. We'll see. Like I said, if it's the same enemy, we've already seen me fight that enemy. We saw it last time, so it... I don't know. It seemed like it'd just be weird to see it again. So maybe I will cut it out. It would save time on rendering this video out too. And bop. What do we got over here? So yeah, it was mostly just this one last dude, if I recall correctly. There's like there's a big dude over here. And we can keep getting rid of this stuff, but this big dude over here is who we mainly want to defeat, I believe. Where'd you go? You're around here somewhere, I know it. Hey, jerk. I know you're here. Put your dukes up. Fight me. Actually, I actually don't see him. Where's he at? What are we gonna do with all this rust? I'm sure we'll figure it out. Where is this dude? He's normally here, right? He's normally patrolling around. I specifically dodged him many times but now he's just not here where you at my dude you're not up there that's just that enemy huh weird I was pretty sure he was here we have some lip balm we do at the nest hmm can we get over there I don't think so because yeah, that just takes us away. There's rust over there, but... Huh. Okay, well, let me look around for a few seconds to see if I can find this guy. This looks a whole lot cleaner. Oh. Oh. Okay. Never mind. Okay, we cleaned that island. We cleaned that island. There, there was a big dude here before. I guess it's the same big dude that was on the other island? Because, yeah, now this island's clean. All right, I just had to defeat the two enemies here. Weird. Okay, whatever. Um, I am going to go ahead and get back. Wait, to be better explored. Nakatai? Says there's something over there to be better explored. Huh. Apparently there's something over there. Okay, well, I'm going to start heading back this way. I'll hit up the Heliga and maybe we'll go up to Nakatai and see to be explored. Yeah, there's still some stuff in various places uh, around the map. Most of them are all clear, though. Uh, yeah, yeah, most of them are all clear. There's just a few places. Yeah, this one's still to be better explored. This place with the swamp shuttle. I mean, I guess I don't need to get everything. I mean, I've gotten most of the things. Uh, and those would probably just be running back to various areas and getting, like, little items or something I don't know it doesn't entirely seem worth it to me to go out of my way to do that <clears throat> if there were like the bridge we took to get here more bosses or something I would I would totally be down but it seems like those are mostly just like you go back over here and you'd get a new item to go in the nest or whatever so I don't really think I need to follow up on those so I, th I think we'll just go ahead and go back to the ship now. We cleared all the rust off of every island, which is what I was, what, what I mostly wanted to do. And it, it feels weird, like, like in-game, like lore-wise, for me to just keep messing around on Source when 
the big story reason that we're leaving is, oh my god, Ozius could be here any minute. We gotta hurry, we gotta get out of here. And instead I'm just like, let's go see if we can find more stuffed Daikos. So, it makes more sense from like a story perspective for me too, to just be like, all right, maybe we should go ahead and get out of here now. We cleared the place of rust. That's what we wanted to do. So now we should just leave. So yeah, I think I'll go with that. So let's head back home now. And uh, yeah, I'll see you when I get over there and then we'll go ahead and take off. All right, here we are back at the nest. I got healed up by the Heliga on the way back and let's go in and take off and see what happens. I imagine this is probably the finale of the game, so credits probably ro will roll shortly after we do this. We might have to, like, fight Ozius or something. I'm not sure. Let's see. You cannot return afterward. Are you ready to take off? I am. Progress back up. A copy of your current save is available from the load game menu in the title screen. How nice. That way I can go ahead and get all the achievements and everything. Cool. Or the trophies. Gyro stabilizer. Check. Servo rotors? Check. Hollow Spectre? Uh, which one is the Hollow Spectre again? Doesn't exist. Just checking if you're paying attention. Okay then, everything looks almost operational. Almost? Almost? Mechanical engineering isn't an exact science. But, if it all goes well, we should take off without a hitch. If it all goes well? Yeah, now you're getting the hang of it. Come on then, let's get the nest off the ground. Roger that. Oh, shut up, you. I'm happy I cleared most of the rust off the planet for all the little critters. Ooh, that's new art. Hello. <clears throat> that's as close as I can get. I know. That means we'll have to walk the rest of the way. Are you ready? To set aside the apiary once and for all? I've been waiting for this moment. Let's do it. <clears throat> Oh, we're getting credits now? Let's do it. Thank you, Janine Haruni and Christopher Lu Kun Hoi. God, I probably from I butchered that, I'm so sorry. Thank you for your voice for K. It was really um Oh jeez. Stellar work from uh, both of them. I have something in my throat here. It's not because the game's ending, I promise. I just actually need to take a sip of water here, jeez. Ah, oh, yes, that is so much better. Whew. I've been recording for a long time today, so... <laughs> my throat is like, please. Music was made by Danger. The music in this game is very good. Hurtling down the side of a volcano together. I don't think that I would have been surprised. I always knew you were trouble. Hey, but that's what you love about her. Yeah, I, I like that the credits are playing, like, <clears throat> now, basically. This is, this is cool. I've... I've kind of already given my thoughts about the game a lot um, throughout our adventure so far. Keep it up. We're almost there. I've given a lot of my thoughts about the game. Like it has a it has a couple of flaws that are basically just little nitpicks from me or some like little quality of life changes, but overall this game is absolutely amazing and it it is just a, such a good portrayal in video games of a couple and everything it's it's the humor is on point the music is great the story is very interesting and being able to just explore this unknown planet is such a cool idea and one that i really really like it really really resonates with me personally so yeah this was a really fantastic adventure and i hope everybody watching it enjoyed it as well because i had a fantastic time with this game
So, that's where the rust came from. Sure looks like it. I can't even imagine how hot it is in there. One splash, and we're literally toast. I wasn't expecting that severing the bridge would be easy, but I definitely didn't think we'd have to give up even before we'd reached it. Who said we were giving up? Well, you can see we have a problem. We've made it all the way here. <laughs> the interesting thing here is uh, apparently <clears throat> in video games and movies where um, people are just in a volcano, that, that can't happen. Like, people would melt in a volcano if they weren't wearing, like, special gear when they're, like, actually inside of it. So this requires a bit of suspension disbelief. That's, that stuff really doesn't bother me at all. Um, for the sake of fiction and media and stuff. I, I think it's always cool when people are walking through a volcano. It's just a funny thing to point out. Do you see the size of that bridge? Do you see the size of that bridge? I know we talked about it, but Plute K? This thing is gigantic! At what point did we convince ourselves that we could sever this? You said the gloves would get it done. But what do I know? I've never severed a flow bridge. I thought it might be worth trying. Not worth hovering over a lake of molten rust. Even one meter above the rust, the temperature must be a thousand billion degrees. We are beyond trying our luck. We would be risking our lives. We've risked our lives from the get-go. <clears throat> We've risked our lives from the get-go. No, I'm sorry, this is different. Critters hopped on rust, hornet drones, those things I can punch. If I punch this, I'm gonna lose my arm. And that would be the least of my worries, too. I could lose you as well. Which is precisely what's going to happen if we don't sever this bridge. Ozias is gonna show up any day now. And knowing him, he'll certainly bring a platoon of hornets along. And if they don't do the job, they'll send more. How long do you think we can last? They will separate us, you. They will recalibrate us, match us with our respective mates. And there will be nothing left of us. Not even a memory. Nothing. <sighs> nothing. I don't know what's on the other side of this rust, but at least there's something. Okay. Okay, <clears throat> but on one condition. You have to promise me that everything will work out. We're gonna cross this lake of rust, sever this bridge, and come back alive. Or else it isn't worth the risk. Or else... I I would rather forget. No chivalrous sacrifice. No bluting heroic act. We're going. We're severing the bridge, and we're going home. Okay? Okay. Promise? Promise. All right. Let's sever this bastard. Let's go. I don't want to see these two sad. I love these two. Uh, how do I get down there, actually? Was I just supposed to jump off of here? I was. Well, let's go. Oh boy, things are certainly rumbly down here. We got this though, let's do it! Uh, can we not just go in there? Do we probably have to take a thread or something? It'd be nice if there was an aerial thread that took us like, higher up or something. So that we could hit it from higher up without having to worry about the fire and whatnot. But uh, it looks like we might not be getting that lucky. Never mind. What's happening here? No! Ah! You! Ah. Oh God. Said no gluten heroic acts. Ugh. Sorry, but I promise nothing. Ow! Oh, it burns. Sorry. Sorry. It's no big deal. I'll be all right. Just avoid any contact with it. I'm sorry. I should have never insisted. Don't be ridiculous, Kay. Look, we made it. We passed through. Ugh. Now we just need to sever this Bluton bridge. No, don't move. I told you, it'll be all right. It hurts the same whether I'm moving or not. Come on, 
Let's get this over with. Let's go. Screw this you stupid thing. All of this at once. Then we'll do one bit at a time. Let's go. Over there. The flow threads seem more sparse. It's the moment of truth. Switching to hyper arrest mode. All right. Let's it do worked. it. I hope it'll last. There's still a bunch of threads left to deflect. Here. Another. Got this. All yours. You you better be okay. All right. You better be all right after this or I will be pissed. Why were those random bits of rust even popping up anyway? It's like they it's like it wanted to stop us, which could be a thing since we've seen that some of the rust was like sapient. <laughs> it was a living thing and it tried to murder us. So the rust could actually be trying to stop us here, which is an interesting thought. Maybe you should take a break. I think I can manage on my own. Don't even think about it. This music is so good. Why is the music so good? You're gonna make me feel. You're gonna make me feel, aren't you, music in game? As it should. Come on. Yeah. Wow, this is a long one. What happens if you fall here? I wonder. <laughs> like, what happens if you fall at this part? I wonder if you can. I don't want to try it, but. Do you just die? Is it like game I over? The gloves are starting to overheat. My fingers are starting to burn. About half of my body is burning. Come on, we're almost there, Kay. Uh, let's. Can we switch characters? We cannot. I was thinking maybe we could switch to you. Okay, we can switch to you. So let's let's use use gloves now. We've been using Kay's this entire time. So let's switch to you. Although she already has a bunch of rust on her, so maybe this isn't the best idea. But if you use gloves are overheating. After that, it's over. No going back. No more apiary. No more space travel. Nothing. So what are we waiting for? Let's go. Walk on over there, you, and sever this Bluton flow bridge. Thing was like, uh, what? What just happened? There's the thread disappearing, or the bridge, I guess. Yes, dissipate, you bastard. the logo that was such a good 
That's such a good logo reveal. That's such a good logo. Holy shit. Oh, that's a badass piece of art. Here we are on Gayame. Are we good? My two ba my two my two babies need to be okay, all right? Everything needs to be fine. They need to be living happily ever after together like it should have been from the beginning. Come on. Show it to me. Oh, there's oink. There's oink. 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 If only you knew how long I've been waiting for this. This is gonna be so good. <laughs> yeah, if it even works. What's that thing you say? Uh, let's not start pushing before the panties are pulled down? Of course it's gonna work. With all of your talent and mine put together, how could it fail? Stop it. You're gonna be bad luck. Wanna bet a creamberry fondue that it's gonna work? So, either way, we're having fondue tonight? Correct. Works for me. Hold R1 to display inventory. Select the flower boots. Activate flower boots? What now? Oh my god! Flower boots? Wait, what are we drawing? It works! It works. <laughs> Greenberry fondue forever! Oh, that's awesome. We can swing by the vegetable patch when we're done playing around. I saw a few nice ones yesterday that looked almost ripe. That's awesome! We could grow flowers when we ride around on our flow things now? Oh, that's right. cool. Let me try. Oh yeah, I forgot to tell you. I added a burst function to the boots. Does that mean we can... Pop flower bursts? Yep. How we do that? Boom! Oh Whoa. my god, that's so cool! It's even better than I imagined! That's so cool. I love that. Look, Oink, look at all your flowers! Well, it looks much gluten prettier this way. Hell yeah, I love this. I was wondering, if we both do a 180, are we doing a 360? A little bit more over there. All right, so what do we got? You said to go check this out? I wonder why we're bothering to plant a bit of everything. When we could just focus on intensive cranberry cultivation. We'd need a little variety in our diet, lest we get tired. Why? I'm not getting tired of you yet. This is true. You think that's impressive? We can fly too. I think I'm itching for a flower burst. You go right ahead. Where does this take me? What the hell? Excuse me? This isn't the sharpest drawing. Well, let's just say it's abstract art. Yeah, see, I, I didn't- I wasn't going for an actual good drawing. I was kind of just this going around. I can't draw anyway. Or are we drawing now? Is it dropping flowers below me now? Because that's really cool if so. I thought we were actually artists. I don't know, man. You had promised me you'd make a cranberry fondue. That's true. I should get to it. All right, then I guess we got to go down, huh? Back home. I believe that this area could use a flower burst. If you say so. Boom. After you. All right, so now we go back in the nest. All yeah. Right. Are we gonna have this fondue? Yes. Yes? Great. I was wondering. The weather's kind of nice. Do you want to set up outside for a change? Definitely. Start the fondue, I'll set the table. Whew. I didn't think we'd get through all that. What's for dessert? You have some room left? I'm kidding. We do have some apple brew left. Want any? All right, then. We are on vacation, after all. All right, then. We are on vacation after all. Every day is vacation. Exactly. To us. To us. And to source. Which reminds me, we're gonna have to tape up the nest's flow intake tomorrow. I think I saw a leak. Yes. And also, we need to consider pruning our apple dew buds. They're gonna take over the whole vegetable patch if we let them. Blute. 
Guess we're not on vacation after all. Ah, uh, well. We can rest when we're old. Okay. The only things we do here are cooking, handiwork, and gardening. We are old. <laughs> You're right. Speaking of which, it's past our bedtime. What are we still doing up? Wait. We haven't checked the gauges. Oh, yeah. I almost forgot. So, what does it say? 0 0.174 minus 0 0.090 plus 0 0.122. Huh. That's more than yesterday. A lot more? Not much, but it kind of confirms our theory. Source's orbit has deviated. Hmm. Other than that, I'm not seeing the bridge. Looks like it's not forming back. At least that's some good news. Now we can sleep soundly. Are you sleepy at all? Not really. Uh, enter nest. What are we gonna do then? Oh, why K cry? Why is K cry? Chat? Don't you want to go into the bedroom instead? Yes. Let's go. Quick. I'm so sad we couldn't get the rust off of you. Someone's thinking about the apiary. Huh? <laughs> no. Well, kind of. But kind of not. I was thinking about us. What we've done. We've severed Whoops. a balloon flow bridge. Yeah. About that. It's like the biggest decision I've ever made in my life. By a very long stretch. I thought I would feel changed. Like an entirely new person. But no, I'm not feeling any different, mentally. I mean, I don't think I've taken it all in yet. You know, it's kind of like when someone you don't see much dies, you understand it, you accept it, but really, concretely, it changes absolutely nothing in your daily life. The only difference compared to before is that you wouldn't be able to see that person if you wanted to. And you really don't remember they're dead until you want to see them. Right now, it feels like the entire apiary is dead. Even if I wanted to, I wouldn't be able to go back. Does that make you sad? It doesn't make me anything. Sad, happy, nothing. You know, I don't think it's hit me yet. I'd like it to stay that way, actually. I really hope it never hits me. Um. Will you tell me if that happens? <sighs> Who else could I tell? What about your skin? Does it still hurt? No. I can barely feel it anymore. I don't know if it's the lufocrit oil, or if my immune system has just accepted it, but at least it stopped stinging. It feels better. It feels... okay. Still haven't noticed any superpowers? Remotely controlling the rust, making flow appear out of your hands? <laughs> no. I'm just super ugly. Oh yeah? I personally like your new look. You have this robo-glam attitude with the spikes and everything. Oh please. I'm serious. I think I like you better this way. Stop it. You can't be serious. But it's nice of you to say. And since you're not put off doing what you did to me earlier, then no worries. I am happy. <laughs> Wherever, whenever. Here and now. Hmm. Just what I wanted to hear. You two are super horny. And also, yeah, I mean, you doesn't look that bad. She doesn't need to feel bad about it. Oh, look at that perfect image. I would make that the thumbnail, but it has the spoiler of her getting rust on her. Okay, so here we are. In the actual credits. What a... <laughs> What a great, what a great ass game. I'm so glad I played this. I'm so glad, I'm so, so glad. It was just like, I was like, I'm doing it. I don't care. I don't care if nobody watches it, I'm playing this game because it appeals to me and I really like it. And I like the idea and everything behind it. And I didn't expect it to be written so damn well. And just everything, like I, 
really, really fell in love with these characters. Like, I super, super did. I loved them so much, and I still love them so much. It's... It's just such a fantastic little adventure and a neat idea, and this is why I love indie games so much. Because a lot of stuff like this isn't made by AAA Studios. This would never have gotten the okay, I don't believe. It's just a weird little game about two lovers being stranded on a planet. Like, sure, it has combat, but it's not the focus. It's like, the focus is more about getting to know these two and seeing their relationship. It doesn't even really have that crazy of a story. It's just like, no, you're getting to know these two characters and you're seeing them live on this planet together. And there's something like, I don't know, really nice about that. The fact that it's so simple. It was a fantastic game. I really loved it. Definitely one of my... One of my favorites, I would say. Maybe not quite top 10, but maybe like top 20. That is a naked you and also a, a K butt can't show me that you can't show me that that's not that's not good for YouTube that's not good oh geez that was another thing about this game this game is very horny this game is very horny extremely horny game which is not a bad thing you know you can be horny that is absolutely fine hmm maybe we can get a good thumbnail from here uh-huh Come on, give me a good thumbnail. Preferably without an ass or boobs in it. That'll make it a bit, that'll make it a much easier sell. That's kind of a good one. Although it has a little bit of boob in it, but you can't see anything. I'll be I'll be I I find now that I make videos so much and I do do custom thumbnails for every single video. I find throughout the video I'm always like Hmm, is that gonna be my thumbnail? Is that my thumbnail? Ooh, that'd make a good thumbnail. <laughs> like, I'm always looking for thumbnails, basically. Hmm. But yeah, what a... what a fantastic... game. So happy I played it. I'm always down for, like, little turn-based RPGs and JRPGs. They're... they're some of my favorite games, and this kind of takes that and adds a lot more to it. Like, it adds more of a social... Not, maybe not social aspect, but more of like, it's more of a focus on the characters, which is nice. It's kind of like, so it, when I play Persona, I, I find the reason I like Persona so much is because Persona is, oh, that's our thumbnail. Right there, look at that thumbnail. That's a thumbnail. Um, I find the reason I like Persona so much is because um, it really blends the social, like, simul sim aspect with the RPG aspect. So when I get tired of the RPG part, I can go to the social sim part. And this game does a good job of doing that as well. It gives you a nice break. Thank you for playing. Thank you for making. Damn it, this was a good ass game. Thank you for making. I really enjoyed that. Oh no, there's our thumbnail. Look at that thumbnail. Yeah, let's sit on this screen for a few more seconds here few more seconds, make sure I see this when I'm editing. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. That, that is some cute-ass art, too. That is great. All right, unstoppable. Trophy earned. Let's uh, check out the trophies really quick. Finish the game with three KOs or less. Wow, really? Uh, pacify five critters in one swoop. Huh. Do you have to do the double pacify to do that? Uh, I guess you gotta, yeah, you probably have to use, like, Omni Impacts and stuff. Uh, hit five critters in their weak spot in one swoop. That would probably also require the Omni thing. Launch a max power double attack. Launch a max, pow max power assistance. Uh, reach the heights. I don't know what that means. Take a spill each, back to back. Oh, okay, I know how to do that. Become a bird perch. Don't know how to do that. And then unlock all trophies. There's a lot of hidden trophies in here, actually. Fill the vegetable patch? Did I not do that? I guess I never got creamberry, uh, things. I also never tried every dish. But I did clean up rust on every single, uh, islet, so... Alright, so, yeah. This has been Haven. This was a fantastic little adventure- wait. Epilogue. What? What is epilogue? 
Is epilogue just that thing we saw? Like, is it just saying you can you can view that again if you want to, or is there actually more? Yami. If only you knew how. Okay, no, this this is just this again. All right, all right. So yeah, back back to the main menu, everyone. So yeah, this has been well, Haven. This is I be... hope everyone enjoyed this little adventure. I it it was really special to me for sure. It was one of those games I loved every time I sat down and played it. So. Yeah, I hope you've enjoyed, and I will see you next time for something new.